Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you, Cancer. We're going to be flipping the script today. Normally we do a reading for your energy. We're going to be pulling on your purse's energy. We're going to see what's going on in their current energy. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. All right, Cancer, let's get into it. So to start this off, guys, I'm going to just pull a few cards to get um, the current energy between you and your person, and then we'll jump right on to them. What's the overall energy? So here we go. Guys, every one of your cards are in the reverse. That's a lot of obstacles without even looking at like what the card actually is. Just the energy from the cards is that there's a lot going on here. Oh my God, you guys. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, and the card on the, re the bottom of the deck is in reverse as well. You have the star in reverse on the bottom, Cancer. So this can indicate that there is some difficult things that you're going through and you're having a hard time healing from it. Someone could be seeking forgiveness in the connection, but we're just going to go and look at your other cards and we'll come back to this, guys. You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles is the most dependable knight in the deck. This is the knight that you can count on. This is the knight that is, you know, wanting commitment. This isn't someone who shies away from relationships. Um, but when the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, that indicates that there's something interfering with him acting in his best, as his best, as his best self. Um, that could indicate that it's something that he's doing in the connection or it could be, you know, the other person blocking it, blocking him from doing what he's supposed to do. But the next card that we have is the six of wands. So this talks about wanting to put in work and wanting it to be a success. So this night, you know, was working towards um, going to the next level in the relationship. But for whatever reason, something didn't work out here. We also have the hangman in reverse, which is an energy of being stuck and it's being stuck for too long. We also have temperance in the reverse, guys. You know, that's also about balance. Things being out of balance in this in this instance that can indicate arguments that can indicate conflict, chaos, disagreements. There, there's just not a meeting of the minds. There may be a lot of things that you guys are, you know, having disagreements about. And then we have the Empress here in the reverse. That's, uh, we've tried to work on it and we weren't able to make this a success. And I'm not sure, you know, with this star card, um, if there's a future for us. But there's love here. I have the Queen of Cups. And then we have a King of Wands here in the reverse and a Queen of Wands here in the reverse. So that's a pair. But that's a pair that has lost passion for one another. There are two queens here. And I have justice. And I have the two of cups in reverse and the three of wands. So this could be um, an interference. There could have been another person that came in and your person needed forgiveness with this star. All right, guys, well, we'll keep going. We'll see whose energy, who did what. We'll see if it was your person that may have, you know, broken up the relationship or if it was you, Cancer. 
All right. So we're going to go in and get some tea cards. Um, see what's going on. See what the tea is on your purse and cancer. What's going on? These are things, some of these uh, you may know about. Some of these you may not know about. Cancer. All right, Cancer, I keep seeing the moving card. Your person may be moving. Um, you guys may have been considering moving together. I have an offer here. that cancer is connecting with what's going on in their energy something just turned over but I'll wait till I see it what's going on in cancer person's energy we have bad karma kissing ass this person is sitting in karma so I'm feeling like they are the offender we have threatening. Dust it off. Dirty offer. Travel. That could also be the same energy for the move card. What else? Okay, guys, on the bottom of the deck, we have family issues. So for some of you, you could be married, but there's family issues presenting here in your person's issue, I mean, energy. They are having family issues. I have the given money card. Your person could be, um, looks like they have a lot of responsibilities. They have to take care, um, they could be paying child support. This could be child support. They could be um, taking care of relatives. They're moving around a lot with this travel card coming out. They could travel for work. They could be, like to travel. But this is in their current energy, guys. So this could be taking a trip soon. I have kissing ass. So this to me is an apology. They could um, send you flowers, wanting to apologize for what they may have done in the relationship. I have dirty offer. They could be calling you, wanting to have sex. And I see a lot of flowers here. So someone's getting flowers, a lot of flowers. They may also be giving you money, Cancer. Maybe, you know, just trying to make up in some way, but you can't pay someone off, right? If you deceive them or hurt them. I have threatening. This person could be mean to you, Cancer, in some way. They could be making threats to you, trying to intimidate you. For some of you, you may be dealing with a narcissist. They could be telling you, you know, if you leave me, then I'll do A, B, or C. But I have, they lost their chance. You have lost chance. I have dusted off. They could um, be making an attempt to Let me see. And we have waiting and dusted off. I think that they're, they are possibly waiting to see what you're going to do, Cancer. But they're trying to act like they're not affected by it. I think they're going through a lot in their life. I think that they are getting their karma. I feel like things aren't going well for them. And I think that you have pulled back your energy, Cancer. That's the energy that I'm getting. Let's see what comes out in the tarot, guys. 
Okay. So what's going on with Cancer's person, Karma, Spirit? What messages do we need to know? And I did a pre-shuffle, guys, before the reading. What's going on with Cancer's person, Karma? first card out is the ace of wands they're taking an action at this time they're getting very motivated they're passionate about something they're very passionate about something this is a new beginning this is beginning something new we have a queen of wands showing up this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius energy but this indicates that they are very attracted to this queen of wands they're very passionate about this queen of wands they believe this person is either handsome or um, beautiful they're attracted to this person they're attracted this could be you i've learned not to make assumptions when i'm doing these readings guys i have a high priestess showing up this could be another person or this could indicate the the energy in the relationship but we're going to keep going we have the nine of coins we have the knight of wands for some of you your person may be younger than you the feminine energy is coming up as older but that doesn't mean that it's a woman guys but the masculine energy is presenting as younger and the feminine energy is presenting as older okay guys so your person you know they're going through a hard time but it looks like overall they they work hard and you know they do they're they're pretty successful they're pretty successful here it looks like you know if they put their mind to something they're usually able to like make it happen but this person is very motivated to do something. I have this Knight of Wands and this Ace of Wands. And we have Strength on the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Cups and a Knight of Coins. We have two Knights here, guys. Got a lot of people. We actually have three Knights. One Knight is wanting to commit and their feelings are attached. So this is one person. And we have death in reverse and a queen of cups in reverse. Not wanting it to be over. Wanting to come in and put in the work because I love you. This person isn't doing well, guys. If you guys have pulled back your energy and you're this high priestess, Cancer, this person isn't doing well. This person isn't doing well. And if you are this queen of cups, you know, they want you bad, Cancer. These cards wanted to come out as the Ten of Wands and the Hangman. This is, I'm ready for this burden and this stress to be over. I'm held up. I'm stuck. Okay, let's go in and clarify the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Cancer's person? Why is the high priestess here? We have the hermit in reverse, guys. Yeah, so I think, Cancer, this is your energy. You've pulled back your energy from this person and the hangman's on the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with, again, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Virgo. This person is waiting on you. Here's the waiting again, guys. I feel like they're waiting on you to make a decision and you're not doing it. And it, it's driving them crazy, guys. They are <laughs> they are so stressed out here. They are like manifesting you guys. They're manifesting you guys, but you you guys are holding it 
holding the process up. They're wanting to come in with this this love offer, but you you're going back and forth about this decision. They are stressed out, guys. I have the nine and the ten of wands. It's it and they and you know this relationship may not be the only thing that's stressing them out. I do have the page of pentacles here with temperance. They you know this this to me is an overall energy of life stress. Life stress. All right, tell me about this ace of wands. Lovers. Okay, guys, there's a strong sexual connection between you and this person. Like, it's a lot of passionate cards here. And I have the four of wands. So this, uh, this was a serious uh, relationship. This was a serious relationship. This person is wanting to take action, guys, to bring this relationship back into balance. I feel like they, um, for those of you who were in a relationship for a long time, or you may be married, this person is used to taking care of you, used to being a provider, and that's what they want. They want, you know, the um, the family to come back together and to be um, how it was in the past. Mm. Your person could be cancer as well. They could be a little uh, jealous, um, controlling, or possessive as well with this king of coins coming up in the reverse. That could also be causing, you know, issues in the in the connection as well. Why, why you guys can't, you know, bring it into balance. That may be what turns you off about this person. I have the page of cups in reverse and the four of coins in reverse on the on the bottom of the deck and the three of coins. I feel like this is your energy cancer. You're the page of cups. You, you've taken back your love offer and you know, where you once held on to this relationship and you didn't want to let it go. You're like, we don't get along well. We don't get along well. We're not listening to each other anymore. We're not being of a benefit to each other. We don't work well together and you know, I love you and everything, but I, I don't want this. What is the next action for this Ace of Wands for Cancer's person? What is the next action? We have these six of swords, guys. The next action is to move on to Kama Waters. They're wanting peace. They're wanting peace. I have the three of swords in reverse. That's wanting to heal. And give this another shot. I have the wheel. Your purse is going to be coming in. They're going to be trying to uh, fix whatever it is that caused this, this heartbreak and grief in the relationship. They're coming in for another shot, Cancer. And I feel like this is a codependent relationship. This person feels attached to you. They feel a spiritual attachment to you. But I think that, Cancer, I think that you may be closed off to this person with this high priestess presenting here. But let's keep going uh, with your person. Uh, let's find out why the Nine of Pentacles is here for Cancer's person. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This could be how they view you, Cancer, as well. They could view you as wealthy, abundant. Their abundance, you know, it has nothing to do with money. I have the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. This person is willing to fight for you, Cancer, and I think currently um, they are in a place where they don't want anyone else. They don't want anyone else. Um, if this person hasn't reached out to you, they will be reaching out to you with this Eight of Wands, and it's because they, they want a change here. They want a change here. I do have a very, uh, like I said, aggressive energy with this person. 
So, like, again, I, I just feel like your person is kind of controlling, and that's kind of why they won't give up. And that's why they came in very passionately with this Ace of Wands and then ended it with the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person is a forcer. You know, they're, <laughs> they're going to make you do what they want you to do one way or the other. But I feel like you guys have been trying to say, look, we, we don't get along. We don't work well together. Give me one for this Eight of Wands. I, the star in reverse. They could be reaching out, asking for forgiveness, guys. Asking, what are we going to do? You know, what lies ahead for our future? Are we going to work on this? The Eight of Pentacles, I want to work on this. They're, they've been planning. They've been plotting, guys. They've been trying to figure out how they're going to approach you, how they're going to text you, how they're going to create change in your energy. They're very passionate. I have the Knight of Swords. They are coming in, guys. This is the Ace of Cups. They're, um, This is going to be coming in fast. So if it hasn't already happened, guys, this is going to be coming in very fast. That's what they've been working on, guys. What is, why is the Knight of Wands here for Cancer's person? Have the Page of Pentacles. They're passionately wanting to pursue you, but it's they're also wanting to come in with a commitment. Now, granted, the Page of Pentacles, you know, it's the beginning of a solid commitment. I'm concerned, you know, that the king, which, which is the, the, I don't want to say highest, but the most committed court card of the pinnacle suit, not most, because king and queens are equal. You guys get what I'm saying. The level of commitment for this person is just kind of bare minimum. I feel like you guys have blocked this person from being able to come in and offer you this ace of pinnacles. I have the page of swords here. It could be possibly due to lies that they tell or disagreements that you have. Just, you know, things not being clear and they, they can't get their way here. They're not able to like move on from you. And I have the waiting again, waiting for something to work out, but it, it, it never comes. And I have the hangman and the hermit again. All right, give me a few more for this Knight of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, Knight of Wands for Cancer's person. That's the Knight of Wands here. Two of Wands. That's about partnership, guys. They want to come in and offer you a solid commitment here. But I have this Queen of Cups, which is your energy, Cancer. You're in the reverse. Why is this Queen of Cups in the reverse? have the Knight of Pentacles coming out with the Three of Wands. You don't feel like this person can give you what you're looking for, Cancer. I think that this person is an okay person. I don't think that they're a complete jackass here, but I think that they have a lot of growing up to do. Um, and for whatever reason, you're kind of, um, you're tired of waiting on this person to grow up. Queen of Cups in reverse. Give me a few more. I have the Eight of Cups in reverse. I have the Two of Cups and I have the Page of Cups. So I think that um, overall, you guys, oh Lord. So Cancer, you have been going back and forth about leaving this person. You haven't quite been able to leave completely um if you have left i think that it took you a long time to leave and for some of you you're still trying to figure out how to leave i think that your feelings have changed here but this person is ready they're ready to put in work for you cancer and that's what they are they're focused on right now this week they're figuring out how to reach out to you what to say how can i make this right how can i make this burden go away how can I stop? How can I get through the block? For those of you, I think some of you have blocked this person. Um, this person is trying to figure out how to come towards you.
I'm sorry, guys. All right, that's been your reading, Cancer. That's what's going on with your person. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take just a second and give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, Cancer, the weekend is loading. Enjoy your weekend and I'll catch you on your next read.